All right, a beautiful day outside. Yeah, there were some clouds out there, but it was dry and it was crisp and it's fall. <laughs> and we were waiting for this. Chief Meteorologist Derek Beasley joining us now. Uh, you turned on your heat. <laughs> I have. <laughs> have you caught your in breath? In many ways. <laughs> in many ways. In many yes, ways. Yes. The heat is on. Yeah, the heat yes. is on. Yeah, those temperatures are uh, going to be a little bit on the fall side here for the next couple of days, as expected. So, depending on your taste, mm -hmm. either the heat's on or you're opening the windows. But it does look like we warm up the middle part of the week. Sunshine back in the forecast here by the middle part of the week. We're also looking at some rain here for next weekend. Yes, again, we're going to be dealing with a chance for showers here in the forecast here, heading towards the end of the week into the upcoming weekend. So let's talk about what's going on right now. And we are tracking a few scattered showers out there. These are very light in nature as they make their way from north to south across the region, from Glen Burnie all the way southward towards Crofton and Anne Arundel County, out towards Crownsville. Also, some scattered showers across parts of far western Frederick County. These are moving west southwest here, so just south of Interstate 70. Those appear to be uh, kind of dissipating in coverage. So it looks like. We could see a couple more of these pop up this evening, but mainly cloudy skies expected here for this evening and overnight. If you have any plans to head out, don't think you'll need to take the rain gear with you because if you do see any showers, they're going to be very minor in nature. Temperatures right now mid to upper 50s to lower 60s, depending on where you are inside the Beltway. We're seeing the warmest temperatures right now, 62 at the Inner Harbor. Out towards the Garrett County Airport, temperatures low 40s there, mid to upper 50s over on the eastern shore, some low 60s showing up. And it looks like, again, those winds out of the northwest continuing to keep us on the cool side here. So if you're going to have plans to head out late tonight, we are going to drop into the upper 40s, but likely not until early tomorrow morning. So dress for temperatures into the 50s under a mostly cloudy sky and that northwest wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So here's a look at clouds and radar. We're still stuck in this pattern here where we've got a northwest flow, both at the surface and aloft, kind of spinning around an area of low pressure that's just offshore. And some of these low level clouds continue to spin around here, associated with some waves of energy in the upper parts of the atmosphere. And it looks like that will continue into tomorrow. So we'll see periods of clouds and also some periods of sunshine too into your Tuesday. It's really not until Wednesday that we start to clear the clouds out a little bit more. So I do expect a little bit more sunshine here for the middle part of the week. Wednesday, Thursday, those are probably going to be the two best days of the week. And then Friday, we're going to be tracking our next storm system. Now, as we look into the future, a couple of different forecast models that we look at, the American GFS and the European model, we like to show this to you to kind of give you a deep dive of what we're looking at in the future. We like to see agreement in the models here. Notice the European model a little bit more offshore with the development of this area of low pressure. Still calling for a chance for rain, but the GFS model is a little bit more aggressive with the chance for rain. Right now, we're leaning more towards the GFS solution. Given the fact that it's been fairly consistent uh, with the development of this next system. So, I do think that we have a fairly high probability for rain here coming up here Friday night into Saturday. So, just make plans for that. It does look like, though, Sunday, the chances for rain will go away and we're looking at a dry end of the weekend. So, again, here's your first alert seven day forecast. The two best days this week will be Wednesday and Thursday. As a matter of fact, Thursday, we're going to be in the low 70s with sunshine and a few clouds. And then the clouds are going to roll in on Friday. Chance for rain by afternoon and evening. That will continue Friday night, Saturday, but Sunday looking much better for the Ravens as the Lions are in town. Should be a good game. All right. We need that sun on Sunday. Okay. Yes, yes.